will be watching that on YouTube. You'll be like, what the heck is this guy doing for the first couple of minutes of the recording? Sorry about that. Sorry for that pause. Uh, it's just that the, the Facebook Live is taking a lot longer than usual. I'm sorry for that. Now we're live. All right, here we go. Okay, so let's do this, Doug. Let's get this. Try to go as thoroughly as possible and show these people how to do this. Okay, so here we are now going to be doing an eSOR tutorial. Here we go. So you just type in eSOR or type in the first three or four letters. Okay, so then you're going to see www.esor.net, right, guys? So let me just make sure that's... That's on the right one, it should be. And let me make sure I'm actually, my sound is coming through. So you go to www.esor.net. I'm just gonna click on the link here, okay? It's completely free, guys. Completely free for Windows and for PC, uh, for Windows and Mac. So down here, you got the Mac. You got, you know, for the iPad, the HD, the X for the Mac. You got the LT for the iPhone, okay, so on and so forth. I have a PC, and for others, I mainly wanted to do this for my brothers and sisters out there that will be watching that are doing, um, that I'm doing a PC version. So let me see here. So you're going to click on that, like as I'm, if I was to click on this, there's going to be a, a, a E, a uh, exe file now here you go you got the 12.1 you click it a second time it's going to open up application just like i did before okay so it opens that up all right so you click save once you have the e.exe file as you see on the bottom left there should be a window here that's showing you the download you have okay so since i already have it installed down here opened i don't really need to install it but it, for you guys, you want to click on this little arrow to the right, okay? You click on that, you click on open, right click on it. I mean, not right click, actually, te technically it's left click, but anyway. You left click on open, it will open, it will set something up. I'm going to show you guys what the finished product's going to look. When it opens up, it's going to open up like this. The only, and let me just actually, so I noticed my shared screen was not working 110%. Um, so let me just uh, fix the shared screen here. Here you go. So this is what your finished product should look like realistically. You should have this type of setup. Now, obviously, you're not going to have all these translations right away. A lot of these I got from BibleSupport.com. I will be leaving a link down in the description for that um, once I upload this to YouTube. All right. So and I'll probably be putting it for people on Facebook, too. Um, pretty much I'll show you right now. You see this download button up here. You want to left click on that Bibles click on Bibles. Okay. So this is going to bring up another page. Now you got, okay. So you got all of these are pretty much the free stuff you got. It goes all the way down to the NLT here. So you start with like the ASV 1901 and you got this whole list down here is completely free, including the ISR 2009, Tree of Life. And so you got about 15 to 20 translations they'll start you off with that's within the app to download. But I'm also going to show you guys what other stuff you can download. Now, if you feel led to, you could purchase, you know, these translations. I think most of them are like $15 to own the module. For you to use in, in eSword. I don't feel led to do that personally. These are not any translations that I would go crazy for. I mean, the NLT, CSB, Complete Jewish Bible, none of these are like, oh my goodness, I would spend $15 just to use an electronic version of it, but that's just me. Um, but they give you enough free stuff at the top here. Like I said, you know, you got at least uh, 10 to 15 or almost 20 translations to start yourself off with. So, um, but I'm going to show you guys where to get even more for free from their third party website. So once you're all set up, you start downloading the free stuff they give you, um, legally within the app. I'm going to show you also another website as far as I know is completely legal and is completely legit. It is their third party partner. You could say a partnering website known as, um, BibleSupport.com. So we're going to go there real quick. All right. So BibleSupport.com. And actually, if you have MySword already installed on your phone, 
there's an actual option where I forget if it's in settings or preferences or when you're downloading modules, I think there's a section where it says 30 third party modules. If you click on that, it'll give you the link that you can click on from your phone to go to this website. So it seems to be pretty legit. I, I, I trust it. Um, so anyway, but here, once you get to the Bible support website, if you want to go for the eSword stuff, I'll show you here. You click on eSword downloads, you click on Bibles, and you just type it on the search box all the way to the top right. Um, you basically type in, you know, whatever translation you want. If it's the TS 1998, you type in the scriptures 1998. If you want the restored name King James, you type in that. Or you can just scroll down with your mouse and you can see, I mean, they, they have so many. Um, this is the eSword ones. They have, I think they have like between, I forget how many exact, but I think there's at least like, oh yeah, there's close to 500 Bibles, okay, for the East, just for the eSword, okay? Um, then you got, if you go back to this tab here, okay, you go to the drop down menu and click on my sword downloads. This is specifically for the my sword for the Android, these extra third party modules. Um, so you do the same thing. You basically go to the top, right? You put in the search box, you know, um, you just type in with your keyboard, whatever translation you're looking for. And if they have it, they have it. Um, I know this is how I got my original Aramaic New Testament in plain English, um, so on and so forth. So anyway, so hope I expect that helped you guys a little bit get started with the, uh, with these apps. Um, if you guys saw my video, I did just previously on the, my sword, I encourage you get the, my sword as soon as possible. Um, you know, because really, I don't know, um, I don't know how much longer these guys are going to be in business and survive, especially their app is no longer on the Google Play Store. Um, there seem, seems to be something going on with that. And so, you know, I don't know how much they're going to survive because they're not a paid app. They're, they go on donations. They're pretty much a free app for the phone. Um, and the same thing with eSword for the PC. So... Um, I'll leave the links in the description of the video. So thank you for watching. And I, I expect that this will clear up some confusions on how to install this stuff and where to go to install it, the websites and stuff and how to get all your translations on there. So thank you, brothers and sisters, for tuning in. Um, this is Brother Doug. I'm about to call it a night. Shalom, guys. Stop recording. I'm going to stop the bye Facebook Live. See you later.